So I was standing over with my bat, and I'm looking at him. I give him one more chance to pay up. So I bat's up and spit in my face. So what'd you do? I should say they're gonna have a hard time running the dental records when they find them. I didn't answer that, would you? All right. Well, <laughs> whoa, 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 boss, slow down, slow down, what's going on? You sure? You sure? He's a good kid. You sure about this? All right, don't worry. We're on it. Let's go. Where are we going? It's Ronnie. Talk to the feds. Still up in some old Fifth Avenue joint. Well, Ronnie was a good kid. You gotta do what you gotta do. He's dead. Someone got hit before. Was that a screw up? Our job all well done. I'm not sure. Must be more to it. He's all covered in scratches. Come on, just get out of here. Job's done. Not just yet. Something else going on here. Let's just clear the house, make sure there's nothing else here, and then we'll dispose of this. Any claws? Looks like skin. Who was that? I have no idea. At least now you know it's called Bonnie. Just looks like we're gonna have to stay the night. The cat has informed me that the those who you requested are in the house. Good. Excellent. How shall they die, my lord? Bring them to me. I want them to die by my own hand. If it's if you have it your way, my lord. They won't survive the night! Don't worry, my precious. You will be at your full potential in time. Maniac is back. Now how are we gonna attack this thing? I'm gonna open this door on three. You ready? I'm ready. I'm gonna open this door on three, alright? Alright, one, two, three! Crazy. Well, get yourself together. We have a long day ahead of us. Mm. Not a lot of ground to cover, not a lot of time. Let's get going. Or we could just head for the door. Could, 
or we could end whatever is going on in this house. Think about it. We leave here a couple of heroes and bam, we got a handful of politicians willing to work the other way for us. It could also mean a bigger paycheck at the end of the day. And I agree. We split up. We meet back here in a few hours. Try to find something. Anything. And hey. Yeah, I know. Don't do anything stupid. Who the hell are you? Relax, relax. A friend. My name is Dr. Jupe. I am a prisoner of this horrid house, as you. I find that hard to believe. Everyone I've seen so far is a me, a partner, or a goddamn corpse. This being the Lord's bidding. He's behind all this. This being his house as well as the cat's. Lord? Lord who? Lord Rothgar in his youth was wise. But now that his old age has turned him bitter, and a lust for murder, he must be stopped. Why should I listen to you? What do you have to offer me, my partner? A sliver of knowledge into Lord Rothgar's mind. He has a large amount of facts in a library dating back before Christ. Let me tell you a little secret about Lord Rothgar. Lord Rothgar seeks immortality. Together we can take out the old man and learn all of his wonderful secrets. My boy, you're a member of the American Mafia, for Pete's sake. Wouldn't you like to outlive the Don of Yarn family? Wouldn't you like to run your family's name into the new next millennia? Let's find my partner. Maybe we can work something out. So you're telling me this old guy, this Lord Rothgar, wants to kill everybody in his path on his quest for immortality? Sick. You boys, I recommend force. Don't waste bullets. I'll go distract him. Take the lift when you're ready. this quick. I'm just staying away. The last couple days haven't made me completely insane. Amen to that. Ah, uh, my beloved. I'll be together with you again soon. Ah, boys. So you could make it here. Shut up, you bag of evil. Now, now, now. <laughs> I know what you want. You want your freedom. However, I want revenge. Revenge for what? We've seen you a day in our lives. You stuck your faces like you hadn't eaten in months at that restaurant. Remember? The man with you, whom I now know to be the Don of your family, instructed you to do your first act of sin. Slaughter the entire restaurant in the name of the family, he said. And you two hit the one thing in this world that I actually gave a damn about. My wife, Lilith. How did you find us? I abducted countless members of your community. Your family, all in hopes that one day you'd fall into my trap. And it looks like it worked. So, I'm going to take you to hell with me. What about immortality? No, that's a bunch of crap. These books are flesh. Do you really think this is about immortality? No. This is about revenge. No, Weston!
and now for you. Very good, my lord. But I can't allow you to harm these two anymore. So you're the real villain. Very nice use of deception, Doctor. I applaud you. You've won. Now do your work. Surrendering like a fool seems fair enough. You damn fools! You fell for that old, heartbroken, old love story! I'd rather enjoy turning you two into the ultimate killing machine. You're insane. Absolutely nuts. I bet the cat was never even evil. I bet I'm just a stray. A stray that ran away? You remember the stray that ran away in 1942? Do you remember your cat when he ran away? While I was doing research on you two idiots for that old fool, I stumbled upon a poor, no, neglected feline. One that roamed while its owner was under the influence of women, money, and wine. I saw the future. A weapon the likes at uh, which you have never seen. Clyde. Huh! This cat would never turn on his true owner! Ah! Hey, get out. You yeah, alright? Well, I think if I'm bleeding eternally, then I don't think I can move on my own. On the hand? So the cat wasn't evil. Nope. You're just an old friend. Come on, go. I think so. Or just get out of here. Taylor Smith. I've learned anything in the past few days that I can't live life through other people. Truth taught me that. You can't have someone that cross God weighing you down. Forget the family. I'm going to cut the strings one by one, starting with you.